to FPM's annual Employee Recognition Awards. The awards are an FPM tradition made possible by the Employee Recognition Committee, which is one of the initiatives that came about based on the employee feedback from prior years' engagement, inclusion, and diversity surveys. As co chair of the EID team, it's an honor to be your host today. The recognition team has been working hard all year to get ready for the awards, as well as helping to encourage a culture of recognition here at FPM. The team put out a call to all of you to recognize the good work of your peers by nominating someone for an award, and you answered the call. Last year, we had to move our awards program online due to the pandemic, and as you can tell, we're doing the same this year. As it becomes safer for the university, we'll gradually transition to more in-person events, and we expect that next year, we'll return to an in-person awards celebration. I'm looking forward to see who the award recipients are, but first, Let's hear from Interim Vice Chancellor for Finance and Administration, Rob Kramer. Take it away, Rob. Thanks, Dar. It's an honor to be part of the FPM Recognition Awards this year. The COVID-19 pandemic has made for an unprecedented year for our campus and for FPM, and you have risen to the challenge and continue to demonstrate great strength and resilience. It's been rewarding getting to be part of the FPM team this year and observing your work firsthand. Before we recognize the individual employees, I want to acknowledge your collective commitment to make UW-Madison a wonderful place to live, work, and learn. It's through your efforts combined that we've made it through this past year and are moving forward together. And now, please join me in recognizing and honoring this year's award recipients. Thanks, Rob. This brings us to the moment we've all been waiting for, seeing this year's award recipients. Let's kick things off with Johnny Lorenz, Custodial Supervisor at Physical Plant for the first award. I have the privilege of presenting the 2021 Unsung Individual Award to Agos Berea. Agos has worked for the past three years as a custodian on Crew 346. He has been instrumental in ensuring cleanliness at Cooper Hall and the Nielsen Tennis Stadium, both high priority areas this year. Agos disinfected the COVID-19 testing rooms, making sure they remained sanitary and ready for daily use. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, Agos came to work every day with positivity and a smile, even on days when his personal life weighed heavily on him. Custodial Services Supervisor Tracker Dunn writes, for everything Agos has accomplished this past year to keep the campus safe, along with the fact he has been through the most trying of circumstances on top of the pandemic, I am confident he is one of the unsung heroes on campus. I tend to agree. Congratulations, Agos. Thanks, Johnny, and thank you, Agos, for all you do. Next, we'll go to Karen Demick from the Office of Biological Safety at EHS. The Customer Service Award goes to Senior Facility Engineer Jalay Noberry, who's been with FPM since 2011. Jalay is in charge of work orders for medical school, nursing, and pharmacy buildings. She assesses space and recommends the best course of action based on customer needs. She provides information about costs, feasibility, and electrical, mechanical, architectural, and interior modifications needed for a repair or remodel. Jalay coordinates with trades, architecture and engineering, and EHS teams to ensure all goes as planned, responding to any incidents that arise on site. A quote from her nomination reads, her consideration for the project as a whole gives me confidence that she's looking for the best collective outcome for tradespeople and end users alike. She's always willing to go the extra mile to ensure a quality project within budget and schedule. Thank you, Jalay, for providing excellent customer service. Thanks, Karen. We'll now turn it over to Donovan Cron from the Space Management Office at FPD. Let's give it up to Jeff Templin, the 2021 Employee Recognition Creative Solutions Award recipient. As a waste and recycling manager, Jeff has discovered unique ways to improve the physical plant's waste and recycling operation over the year. Jeff believes creative solutions in the waste and recycling department come from employee ideas, supervisor ride-alongs in the field, collaboration with stakeholders that have fresh eyes, a commitment to a continuous process improvements, and his perspectives as former fleet garage manager. Have you ever wondered about the life expectancy of a dumpster? Well, I haven't, but I'm thankful that Jeff has. He notices that the dumpsters lack identification tags. Jeff devised a new dumpster asset tag system for better customer service, easier check-in, check-out, 
of temporary roll-off dumpsters and improve tracking of, you guessed it, the life expectancy of a dumpster. As Jeff recognized an opportunity for more consistent colors and labeling of waste streams, he helped UW Zero Waste Team identify new signage and color scheme to reduce contamination. As Travick Bloomberg noted, Jeff gave six student interns an opportunity to ride along with the waste and recycling drivers to get an in-person experience. Thank you, Jeff, for your care and attention and creative solutions to waste and recycling that make our campus a great place to be. Thanks, Donovan. Donovan and I were fortunate to work with Jeff on the EID committee in the past. Glad to see you're still out there doing great work, Jeff. The next award is not one, but five awards. Here's Louise Meske, who joins us from EHS Biosafety, to tell us more. It is my pleasure to present the 2021 Teamwork Award to the Lakeshore Nature Preserve Team, who manages day to day operations and administration for the 300 acre preserve at UW Madison. With 36 years at UW-Madison and System, Director Gary Brown is the lead administrative officer and champion for the preserve. He oversees long-term planning, operating and capital budgets, and leads the preserve's mission to shelter natural environments and cultural resources through active learning, research, and outreach in a place of respite and well-being. Laura Wyatt, the program manager, joined the team seven years ago to be the day-to-day -day manager. Laura also monitors trees at the preserve for safety. She is known for always finding ways to encourage teamwork and recognize the strengths of others. Bryn Shriver is the volunteer and outreach coordinator. After joining the preserve 12 years ago, she now recruits upwards of 600 volunteers each year, including many students. In fact, she is actively recruiting volunteers, maybe even you. Field projects coordinator, Adam Gunlock, has served for 12 years at the preserve. Adam regularly provides opportunities for students to gain experience towards burn certification by assisting in vegetation maintenance burns. He also works with professors and students doing research in the preserve and views his team as custodians of this land. Connor Cote joined just this last year as natural areas technician. Working with the UWPD, Connor developed a way to count picnic point visitors and curtail after hours abuse. As a graduate student of environmental conservation, Connor finds it to be a great opportunity to combine classroom lessons with active management of the land. Jeff Kirchman says, their dedication to and passion for the preserve never fails to impress me. Thank you, Lakeshore Nature Preserve team. Wow, is anyone else suddenly feeling called to go take a hike in the woods? No, just me? Anyway, now I'll pass the mic to Lauren Hawley from Transportation Services Communications. It's an honor to present the 2021 Above and Beyond Award to Maddie Wojcik, who has worked as an environmental health specialist for five years. Employees like Maddie make sure people can truly enjoy eating lunch on campus. She spends most of her time as a food service and safety inspector. Like many at FPNM, Maddie took on a role outside her usual duties during the pandemic when she used her expertise to identify and control the virus on campus. Maddie and her team discovered over 150 COVID outbreaks in residential and athletics facilities, then acted quickly to help on-site staff understand how, when, and who needed to quarantine. Contact tracing and other efforts of Maddie's team allowed Public Health Madison and Dane County to focus more of its resources elsewhere. According to Colleen Aveline Adler, Maddie created a program from the ground up and led a group of new employees to help keep our campus safe. Thank you, Maddie, for helping make campus a safer place. Thank you, Lauren, and big thanks to you too, Maddie. Without further ado, I'll pass it on to John Anderson from Transportation Services Customer Service. Don Barrett is this year's recipient of the AVC Excellence Award. Don is a facilities maintenance specialist, gate technician, who has been with FPNM for three years. He's critical at keeping our campus parking facilities running smoothly by making sure heavily used gate equipment keeps working through all types of weather. 
Don inspects, performs maintenance on, and repairs electronic gate equipment on a regular basis for 53 drive lanes and 31 automated pay stations at 15 locations. The start of the 2020 permit year brought challenges that included learning about new gate equipment as quickly as possible. Despite extra duties, the pandemic, and a bitter winter, Don never once expressed or even implied an unwillingness to help. Said Supervisor Isaac Naflicek, he has taken on everything with a positive attitude that makes him a delight to supervise. And according to Ben Rissman, despite the stress of being the primary individual responsible for this work, Don somehow finds a way to uplift everyone around him. So the next time you use a parking facility, remember Don, because those gates don't go up by magic. Congratulations, Don. Thank you, John. That's some amazing work, Don. Thanks for all that you do. If you've been to the FP&M Recognition Awards before, you may know about the honor roll. Let's give it up for everyone who was nominated for an award this year. Before we wrap up, let's hear from interim VCFA Rob Kramer once more. Rob, back to you. Congratulations to our award recipients and thank you for all you've done this year. It really is encouraging and inspiring to see how you've performed during these trying and uncertain times. And thanks again to the entire FPNM team. It's been a challenging year and you've led you to be Madison through these trying circumstances. I look forward to your continued leadership and know that you will rise to the occasion. On Wisconsin. <laughs>